Golub Dobrzyn is a charming town placed in the river Drwenca Valley. Once there were two separated towns, the older Golub on the right, north river bank, and Dobrzyn on the left, south bank. The Golub settlement must have existed long before the Teutonic Knights, i.e. members of the Order of the Teutonic Knights of St. Mary's Hospital in Jerusalem, were brought to Poland. Villa Golub had probably been erected long before the order was founded. However, the transformation of the village of Golub into a town was strictly connected with the erection of the Teutonic Castle. The most important monument worth sightseeing is Golub Castle. At present, the fortress maintains the appearance which was introduced to it by Princess Anna Vasa in the years 1616-1623. An interesting museum, which houses replicas of old weaponry, is located in the higher castle. There's a splendid restaurant in the castle's basement, and some of the chambers are used as hotel rooms. Only the reconstructed foundations of two defensive corner towers remain of the lower castle. Where once the fortified gate was, stands now a replica of a culverin, a canal from the times of the Swedish invasion of Poland in 1655-1660. Gothic church dedicated to St. Catherine of Alexandria. The chancel was built around 1320 and the transept with the tower around 1350. While the exterior looks interesting and impressive, the interior can almost make your head spin. The high altar itself is extraordinary. You must also take a closer look at the root screen which shows the crucifixion with the figure of the sculpts St. Mary and Jesus Christ frozen right after his death. There are also many ornaments and sculptors in other parts of the church. Example, an extraordinary pulpit and side altars. Many decorations have recently been renovated. There are three churches in Golub Dobrzyn, two of which are in the Golub Old Town. The first one is a Gothic Roman Catholic Church. The second one is Protestant and Neo-Gothic in style from the year 1909. The need to build and use a Protestant church emerged with the spreading of Protestantism in Golub in the times of the Prussian rule, the beginning of the 20th century. A couple of years ago, the building was rebuilt after a fire and its interior was adapted to serve the local society once again. Of course, there is more to see in Golub Dobrzyn than just the castle. In everyday life, the charm of the old times can be felt during a walk around Golub's old town. 
Strolling in its direction, we faced the beautifully renovated fragments of the town's defensive walls. Most of the brick houses in the town square are monuments. Their facades are interestingly ornamented. In medieval times, the town square was a trading place. Here the market was held. Merchants and craftsmen put out their stalls. Today the stalls are replicated by pavement cafes where you can help yourselves to some chilling ice cream or sweet cake. The house under the arcade. An extraordinary side of Golub is the last small old wooden arcaded house. Not so long ago, several of such houses surrounded the town square. The defensive walls were erected at the beginning of the 14th century. The existing defense were probably transformed into walls whose layout exists still today. The walls had four gates, each leading to the main routes, to Toruń, Brodnica, Dobrzeń, and to the Canal land in the suburb. Three sides of the walls were surrounded by a moat, and the fourth one by the river. On the other side of the river, which is to divide two urban organisms, we come to a beautiful church in the Dobrzeń part of the town. This is a classical church built in 1823. It can be easily noticed thanks to its white outside walls. Though the church is a few hundred years younger than the Gothic temple in Golub, its decorations are also rich and unusual. The character of the inside is totally different. What particularly stands out is the boat-shaped pulpit.